Hello everyone, this is the captain speaking. Rafael Chacinas Noves, el capitán. Rafucho! And of course, welcome to the Slam House, providing my predictions for the pay per view of the summer between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, the Forbidden Door 2023. Let's go! First, we got Brian Danielson versus Kazushika Okada. To say this for all these wrestlers fans, it will be a great dream match. Because remember the time that Brian Dennison wasn't available for last year Forbidden Door during the concussion suffer at Devil or Nothing. And those plans were originally for the Forbidden Door. It could be like a dream match between Brian Dennison versus Zack Sabre Jr. But since then, he has been done for the field with Chris Jericho. He can be with both NEW World Title and, of course, the Arena Honor World Title. And he's been aligning for the Blackpool Combat Club. And also, we can never forget the unforgettable Iron Man match between MGF versus Brian Danielson in Revolution. This could be like a banger. For this case with Brian Danielson, he will be like, he will be compete against one of the best wrestlers in the world. And I'm not gonna lie, because this crazy thing like the pro wrestling, we all really like it. And for the case of Okada, he was a former multi-time IWGP Heavyweight Championship, and he was working tag team matches. He still lost the title against Sonata. And he's been like the great for the years long run at the top of the New Japan Pro Wrestling. And both guys, they had the same energy, they had the same movements, and of course, they had the same, they had the same spark. But trust me, there will be no title of the run, there will be no stipulations, just a good old classic match, a dream match between Brian Dennison versus Kashushika Okada. The results, Okada wins. Second, we got for the IWGP United States Championship between Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay. This could be like the rematch of the classic genre Wrestle Kingdom 17, and also it's the second time of the series of matches that will likely conclude in August on a and All Lane in, in Wembley Stadium in London, where both they are really talented on the ring. But it won't be like another classic to endure because they are good and have come far to think otherwise. Since Omega won their encounter in Japan, also, we will take it to the one that set for the trilogy in London if they have other interference for the match between uh, Don Callis or Kanoshiro Takashita. Results? Osprey will win the title. Next, we got a fatal four way between Zack Sabre Jr., Daniel Garcia, Kazushuki Shibata, and of course, freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. To be like the fun and competitive four way. Yet another great match because, for example, Shibata is a current Ring Honor Pure Champion, and Garcia he wants definitely wants his rematch, which is assumed to have been happening on July Ring the Honor Dead before this Honor pay per view. Sabri is a current New Japan Pro Wrestling TV Championship, and likely will be like the AEW regular at the United States, making this win also very unlikely. But this one it could be like the one in a lifetime matches. On Forbidden Door. Even despite Orange Cassidy and Juries, uh, I don't think it's gonna run for a long, long time as the AEW International Championship. I know he's a favorite for Tony Khan and the fixture for AEW, and he's been a little bit to a point where even the most stoneborn AEW haters had to admit he can go for the ring. And I think it's gonna be like a time for an upset. The results between Danny Garcia or Zack Sabre Jr. could win the title. Sorry, Anish Cassidy, but this is not your time. Next one, we got MGF versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Let me tell you something. You can never beat MGF. He's incredibly at the mic, at the ring, everything. You can never beat MGF, except for one thing, Hiroshi Tanahashi because he's an all-time great for the New Japan Pro Wrestling. But with the age of the rigors of style had been taken their toll. Because he's not the same for the ring walker as he was winning seven IWGAP 
heavyweight titles, and of course, headlining major pay-per-view shows for the New Japan Pro Wrestling. And he's still the ace. And there's a still Ara coming here. That's what it became NGF coming here. A storyline hater comes in. But they get the frustrated for the world champions lack of the matches on TV because there is no doubt that the incredible wrestler who puts the must-see matches every time that he competes. Because both athletes, they're showing the strength and of course the ability at the ring. But like I said, it can never beat MGF. The results, MGF retains. And like MGF said, Because I'm better than you, and you know it. Next one we got the Blackpool Combat Club, John Motsley, Gladio Castanoli, and Willa Yuta with Shota Unomino and Tonoshuke Takeshita versus the Alight, the Young Bucks, Hangman Adam Page, Eden Kisson, and Tomohiro Ishii. Oh, what can I say about it? The Blackpool Combat Club versus the Alight, one of the coolest storylines that we ever see in any W. Because when it comes to Forbidden Door between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling, this could be like anything can happen like this one. But I just wanted to say that this is like the good way to keep things at about, but it seems like the place hold at the next stage of anything about consequence. The result, the Black Blue Combat Club in the match. But I think the storyline between the Allied versus the Black Blue Combat Club, it will be like an instant classic for those wrestling fans. Next one we got Jungle Boy Jack Perry versus Sonata for the IWGP World Championship. This will be Sonata's third title defense since the aforementioned win over Okada. It will offer it out like an open challenge. In Perry, he has a somewhat that can defeat who any done with this fair fine for the loss. Because it's really clear that there's a turn for Perry coming off our last round double or nothing, likely against his friend Hook. He'll be able to corner on this Sunday. That turn will be after the match will be obviously Perry with some mission to purpose and foreshadow Hook first career loss. The results Sanada retains. Next one we got Sting, Darwin Allen, and the mystery guy versus Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Minori Suzuki. Uh, what can I tell you about those great wrestlers? Chris Jericho and Steam. And they still have power in the wrestling. Oh, uh, what? Oh, man. Stan and Chris Jericho. And they still wrestling like it's 1999 or maybe the 90s. Remember the time when Stan had this golden era in the 90s with the WCW? And of course, Chris Jericho as the man of the millennium in WWE with his debut in 1999, and of course, his golden era in the WCW at the 90s. Oh man, this could be like anything happens. But during the latest episode of AEW Dynamite, Stan and all the party will be announced on Saturday night, which is on collision, so it could be like with the speculation. This will continue to build, give our split with Jericho, and what are they thinking about is gonna be like a Stan versus Chris Jericho in all in. Because Sting matches all over the liver one way or another. But this is like the way they advance angles more than anything else. The results? Sting, Darby Allen, and the mystery guy wins. And there you have it, folks. These are my predictions for the Forbidden Door pay-per-view between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's going to be at Toronto, Canada at the Scotia Bank Arena this Sunday. This is Rafael Chacinas, no es el capitán. Rafucho, and I will see you there next time. The champ is here, y'all.